Today, let's take a look at six new features on iOS 17 that you would have probably missed or may have not seen in other videos. So without wasting any precious time, let us begin. First up, we have a brand new updated magnifier thingy that appears when you long press on your cursor. As you all know, this is very useful since you can move your cursor and place it where you want with pinpoint accuracy. And now in iOS 17, this has been made larger. And to be honest, ever since I've been using this, it's kind of helpful. It's not too big, but that slight increase in size definitely is useful. Next up, talking about the same magnified thingy, now it adapts to the color of the app that you're using. So basically, if your app interface has a particular color, this adapts to that. Now, for example, on the notes app, the border of this magnifier thingy is yellow, whereas on the themed Instagram chat, it's orange and in the search, it's white. And like I said before, depending on whatever app you use, the border of this magnifier thingy is going to change color. And I particularly think this is a nice touch. Third in this list, we have a brand new camera leveling feature. Now you can enable this feature in the camera settings and this helps you level your frame with a visual representation of a line. Now, if you're perfectly level, the line is literally straight. And if you're kind of off axis, the line breaks. Now this will be really helpful for anyone shooting photos on your iPhone, especially if you're shooting a photo from a particular angle, but still want a straight shot. Next up, the stock app widget has an updated view. So if you take a look at the new one, you can see the movement of the stocks indicated by color arrows. And I think this is a very neat implementation because at a quick glance, you will know which stock is, you know, in the upward movement or downward movement. And that is useful, especially for those who are deeply invested in the stock market. Fifth in this list, we have a new, you know, kind of pen or tool in the notes app and that is the crayon. So now you can, you know, draw, make portraits, whatever you want with the new crayon. And it kind of looks like an actual crayon when you draw. Yeah, fun to play around with. And finally, you can access certain settings from the search itself, directly from the search, like, you know, Bluetooth airplane mode. Now, is it going to be faster than the regular way you do it? Definitely no. But is it a good implementation? Yeah, maybe. Yes. I mean, it's good to have it. You don't know when you might, you know, need it. So I think that's great. So here are the six new features that I found that haven't been mentioned in other videos or on Apple's keynote. And I'm in the hunt to find all the other small, small changes that Apple has silently sneaked into the new update. So make sure you subscribe. So thank you for watching. And this year is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.